Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Tully Bernlot here coming to you straight from the sunny land of Portugal. The topic of today's video is Ridico's Pilfered Treasure. Made by one Morda the Relicor, currently available on Game Jolt for a low, low price of absolutely nothing. And I'm talking like this because this music is really soothing. I'm going to go ahead and increase the sound. Or not because... Oh. <laughs> turns out I actually... <laughs> turns out I accidentally clicked outside the game. Oh. Again, Edmonton Digital Arts K College. Did everyone who finished their finals on Edmonton Digital Arts College suddenly put their games on Game Jolt? As if so, I'm probably going to get a bunch of viewers from them. <laughs> Oh, dear Lord above in heaven. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyone I do know? I know that I'm going to play Hitty Ghost Pill for Treasure. Start game. Oh. Oh, God! Ah, my eyes! Ah! <laughs> Oh dear fuck! Why? 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 Bright yellow! This is the kind of shit that when I admin on this on parad oh no, uh, this is the kind of shit that when I admin on paradise I change the OOC color to to make people mad. Jesus, why would you pick bright yellow? My eyes hurt. Okay, hold hold on. Hold on. I gotta put my face to the screen. Okay, hold on. So, th this one says avoid these. This one says this is your power ball. Bounce it towards the bad guys to show them who the boss is. Now, this guy stole st your stuff. Shoot them. This is my score and combo level. A higher combo level uh, means more damage. The combo level will reset to zero if the power ball reaches the bottom of the screen. What the fuck is the power ball? These are your bullets. Hold the left control key to shoot or left click to shoot. This is you. Use the other S or A or D or the arrow keys to move, hold shift, or right click to slow down the player hitbox. No easy mode. I'm not good at bullet hells. What the? Oh god, not bullet hells. Oh, is that the power ball? What happens if I if I leave the power ball? Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to keep the power ball running in order to increase my combo. So it's kind of like Arkanoid. <laughs> kind of. Whoa! You know, I, I know this is probably a... a, a, a co this, is, this is probably a... Whoa. Can I, can I hit people with a power ball? Whoa! And again, screaming like a banshee. What the fuck is up with Edmonton Digital Arts College and screaming like banshees? Fuck! The artwork is quite cute, I'll admit that. The artwork is cute. I expected as much from a game called Hidiko's uh, Pilfer Treasure. Now, I'm assuming that I have to keep the Powerball like this. Okay. I also appear to be some sort of succubus. I'm assuming the correct term for it is succubus. You know, you know what this reminds me. I, I did, I did a, 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 a an actual review of a game. Whoa! What is up with Edmonton Digital Arts College in really fucking poignant? There you go. It really fucking poignant banshee death screams. Jesus. Was this all done by the same class? Probably was, considering there's like... This is like... this is These are the hot games on Game Drill as of the moment of this recording. Damn it. I, I think I fucked it up. And uh, they're all part of Edmonton Digital Arts College. So I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... 
these are all like... Damn it. Maybe, maybe these are all like... They're finals, you know? I don't know. There we go. Also, they have a fuck ton of- oh, damn it! You have one HP! One hit point! And this is on easy mode! You have one hit point, that's it! You lose that hit point, you're fucked! The backgrounds do look nice, I'll admit that. The backgrounds actually could look quite nice. But... Oh god. And here's the point, like, you, you can't really- you can't get hit. You have one hit point, regardless of who hits you, if they hit you, you're dead. So, yeah, it, it kind of gets hard to bounce around the power ball. Then again, maybe that's the point, isn't it? You know, it's not supposed to be easy. Of course, you could, I believe, try to hit them with a power ball. I don't know. Can I hit them? Yeah, if I hit them with a power ball, that actually does a lot of damage. Of course, the problem is actually hitting them with a power ball. Especially considering that one hit means I die. Of course, I believe they only get an extra combo if I actually touch the power ball. And if this is any indication, I believe that the combo makes me do more damage. Not sure. It looks like it is, or maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe it just maybe it kind of just increases my score. I don't know. I'm not a particular I'm not a particular fan of bullet hells. I never really. I think it actually I think I actually do more damage. I was never a particular fan of bullet hells. I never very much liked the genre. Also, I think I am doing more damage because I think my bullets. Oh, I can move forward and back. I'm an idiot. I was along the bottom. I bet right now the pr people who made this game are are so mad at me. It's like, oh my god, why are you still on the bottom? Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay. I'm not a fan of bullet hells. I never was. I never liked bullet hells. I never enjoyed them. But I have seen videos oh, of Toho. Thank goodness. I have seen videos of Toho, or Toho, I don't know how to pronounce it, I, I, I say it Toho. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I have seen videos of it, and I can appreciate the visual presentation that are those games. Because they are, they're amazingly well presented games. They look amazing. And I cannot imagine what it would be like to be able to play them to such a degree that you get like S ranks. Oh. That was it! Oh, come on! Yes, Hiriko, I know. You're the most adorable succubus I've seen all week. I know. But that was that was it. And, and again, Edmonton Digital Arts College. Let's do, try to, let's try normal mode. Now that I know that I can fucking... Oh. Oh, so all that easy mode does is make you go uh, slower. Oh, because I was about to complain about this game being very slow. Because I remember seeing other bullet hell games where the game progressed really fucking fast. And I was about to complain, well, this game is a bit slow. Why is this game slow? Apparently, it turns out it's not slow. Easy mode just makes it slow because you're a fucking scrub. And then if you try to play it on... Oh! <laughs> Accidentally clicked on the fucking address bar. And if you try to click it on anything but... Okay. So hold on. It says that shift allows me to slow down and see my hitbox. What is my hitbox? Is that light, tiny little light inside my womb? I don't know. Why did I say that? I'm a fucking pervert as shit. Alright, so normal mode does in fact make you go faster. And I believe the combo makes you do more damage. I believe it does. So now that I know exactly what I can do, Considering that now I know that I can, in fact, go ahead and move, this game is a lot fucking easier. Boop! I can just boop the shit. Also, apparently I cannot go over combo 11. Combo 11 is the most I can go. Whoa, 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 okay! And now, because this game is now on fucking fast track mode, it actually is a bit of a challenge. Not much of a challenge, but some of a challenge. No, 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 fuck. Shit. 
I don't know how they missed that, but they did. All right. All right, all right, quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Because again, I'm not a fan of bullet hells. I never have been. I, I was never a fan of the genre. I never liked it. I was never good at it whenever I tried it. But I can appreciate the game for what it is. I can't. Oh, come on! So close! Let's try that again. Because apparently I can't actually go above 11 on the uh, combo level, so... Let's just get it really quickly here. There we go. Just get a... Four, five, six. Shoot it up. Come on. There we go. Eleven. There we go. Fantastic. But I, 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 I was, as I was saying, I was never a fan of the genre. I never was. But I can appreciate the genre for what it is. I can appreciate what it is. I can appreciate that people like it. And above all, I can still identify when a game is well done and when a game is not well done. Now, the mechanic of the Powerball does, in fact, add... Again, I don't know if this is standard for these games, but I like the fact that you have to keep the Powerball, or in this case, the Power Heart, in play at all times. And that the game does, in fact, reward you, not with just pure score, but with ease of destruction. You can progress through the game easier if you actually may actually keep the Powerball in play. Which gives you an incentive to keep the Powerball in play, and not just dodge. Now, of course, this is predicated on the assumption that you know that you can move, which I did not. But now that I know that I can move, as you can see, the game just became a lot easier. And assuming you have good aim, you, man you can manage to try to use the Powerball to hit people and do even more damage. There we go. Assuming, of course, you're good at this kind of shit, which I'm not. And there goes the Powerball. Fuck. I have to be very careful because the next person is going to... Oh, there we go! There we go! Damn it! Ah! I will continue to play this until I manage to get Radico to a treasure on normal mode. And again, assuming, like I assumed for the last three or four, two or three games, that this is, in fact... Also, notice how the, uh, the, the game... The color of the bullets actually does change. That's, that, that's actually pretty nice. I think I broke the game. Yeah, I broke the game. The Powerball is gone. Powerball's gone! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through normal mode with absolutely no combo. Oh well. I'll consider it a challenge. Oh god. See, I could just kill myself, but I won't. Actually, I will. Fuck it. Mm. There we go. Assuming again that this is in fact a student uh, project. Yeah, you can actually... You can actually cheat it a bit, because of collision detection. Now, assuming, of course, that this is a student project, I can, I, I can understand it. Right? It's not supposed to be something amazing. It's supposed to be the student proving that, yes, I can make a video game. And this is, in fact, a video game. It does require some skill. It has a failure, it has a, it has a failure state, it has a success state, and it requires some skill to get through. Especially in regards to juggling this element, which is the power heart. Artistically, yeah, it's cute, succubus. Uh, it's a trope. It's been done to death. But you know what? I'm still a sucker for it. I'm a sucker for cute. I'm a sucker for cute. I, I, I can't, I can't help it. Of course, she's cute, and she screams like a banshee when she dies. And I'll fucking, I'll, I'll get. To, hang on. See, it's kind of like this. You can just, you can cheese it, you know. Regardless. The game itself is quite well accomplished. It's a single level. You fight these mobs, then you fight the mini-bosses, and then you fight the boss. And that's it. That's really all you need, really. There's, there's not much. <laughs> Assuming, of course, you're good at these sorts of games, and you can juggle the power heart, this game can become even easier. Of course, I'm just bad at it. There we go. Kind of plays like a weird version of Bullet Hell with Arkanoid. Then again, I don't know if the Power Heart mechanic or Power Ball mechanic is normal for these kinds of games, because I don't play them. What I can provide is an opinion of someone who doesn't really play these sorts of games when they play a game now. And my opinion is, apart from the weirdness that is the 3D models, because here's the deal, I remember playing this game, I don't, I don't remember what it was, it was quite like two or three years ago, it was a platformer that involved that it revolved around the colors of the rainbow, like Spectrum. I think it was called Spectrum, actually. 
Whoa! Suddenly, bullet bullet patterns. I think it was called Spectrum. And I always I found it weird in that game that because the the models were the models were these weird ass 3D models, you know, like these ones. And it kind of creates this weird effect. We have this this clearly 2D model of Ridico or the succubus or whatever superimposed over what appears to be a hand-drawn background. Damn it! Superimposed over what appears to be a hand-drawn hand a hand-drawn background. But then you have these weird mobs that look to be hand-drawn. No, no, not hand drawn, but they're, 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 there's, they're these, this weird 3D. They remind me of Poser. You know the 3D, 3D modeling program that surprisingly produced a lot of porn? Uh, they remind me of Poser, you know? It's kind of weird. They kind of look off, you know? They look off. Really off. When in comparison to the rest of the game. Because you have a 2D sprite of your succubus. You have what appear to be either digitally painted or hand-drawn backgrounds. Which, mind you, the background looks stunning. I love it. I love the background. I can't tell if it's a cave or a massive tree. Either way, I love it. I really do. But you have this, these, this, this artistic background. You have this 2D sprite of your character. But then you have these weird 3D models of your enemies. And it kind of just looks off. You know what I'm saying? It does look off. And then you have these, di these basic sprites of your attacks. Which, mind you, do make for a good light show. They just look weird. There's a certain level of dissonance in the art style present in the game. There isn't really a unifying art style. It, it's not like it's a clearly 2D uh, ca character versus a clearly 2D environment. No, it's a clearly 2D player sprite model versus what appears to be a 3D enemies with some weird... Sprites. Keep in mind, I remember seeing videos of Toho, and I mean, yeah, the sprites. Damn it! And the sprites for the bullets were very much like this. They're supposed to be a visual spectacle, and they are. I've seen videos of Toho. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. I've seen videos of Toho where I was sort of enraptured and entranced by how pretty it looked, to the point where I wondered how the fuck anyone managed to play it and not just become completely and utterly lost into bullet hell patterns. And I'm assuming that this is a genre that some people might like. I don't. I don't particularly enjoy... I don't like shoot 'em ups I don't like shoot 'em ups or cute 'em ups in this case. I really don't. I don't like bullet hell games. It's not a genre that I appreciate. But I understand that some people might. And much like... God, what was the game? What was the game? Um... Oh, there was a, the one game I also made about Ed, that came from Edmund and the Digital Arts College. The game about jumping dimensions. Much like this one, I think this particular game could, in fact, benefit from being longer. You know? Add a, adding a couple of levels. I understand that's not what this game is supposed to be. If this, Assuming that this is, assuming, again, that this is, in fact, a student project. I understand that the whole thing is supposed to be... Because this is pretty. This is pretty. And I can't deny it. It is pretty. Even if it is just blue blobs. They're pretty blue blobs. They make for a nice little light show. But again, assuming again that this is in fact a, 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 a student project, I understand it's not supposed to be a full game. It's supposed to be a proof of concept. Yes, I've learned. Yes, I know how to, do, how to make a video game. I've learned exactly what it was I had to learn. You can trust me. Can I get a grade now? I understand that. I do. I really do. I don't know, sometimes I kind of feel like some of these games could use some more love, you know? Like, have the developer invest some more time into them, and make them into fully-fledged games. Of course, the one thing I do have to say is that the art style dissonance is really off-putting. It is. There's a very big dissonance, very noticeable dissonance between the art style of you, the character, the background, and the enemies that you fight. And the dissonance kind of just kills it a bit for me, you know? Also, I'm assuming that th this is kind of like Arkanoid a bit. Shit. Come on, I need more. Come on, I need more. Come on. Combo level 10. 
Damn it! Uh, I'm really bad at these games, as you can see. I want to finish on normal mode. But again, it's like... That's the one bad thing I have to say about this game. The art style dissonance is so off-putting. Because there's such a clear difference between you, the enemies you fight, and the background. Also, and the Powerball does have this tendency to get stuck in places. Which might fuck you up. No, 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 no. Careful now. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm assuming, of course, there is not just the juggling mechanic, but assuming you can, you have some practice with Arkanoid. <laughs> I, I know full well that some people will not know what the fuck Arkanoid is. But assuming you have some practice with Arkanoid, you should be able to juggle the stranger enemies in, to, to, to get some damage boost. I'm bad at it. Also considering the fact that you do need to do that, and you need to go ahead and protect yourself against the bullet, bullets that are coming your way. There we go. There we go. Keep it now. But yeah, I mean, the game itself is interesting. The mechanic is interesting. Juggle the power ball. Try to hit the throw the power ball at your enemies in order to do more damage to them. And <clears throat> if you're good enough, juggling the power ball gives you a fuck ton of bonuses. And now, of course, assuming that you're good at these sorts of games. You can go ahead and dodge the bullets. Come on. Careful now. There we go. Telegraph! That's what I wanted to say. I did a video like fucking a week ago or something that I recorded and went up recently where I wanted to see what's it called when an enemy performs an action that lets you know exactly what the next attack is going to be. Telegraph. And you know what? I did it. I beat easy mode and beat normal mode. And again, assuming that this is in fact a student project, it's actually quite well done. You have a cute little protagonist, you have solid, a solid if basic mechanic, you have of course the power ball and the juggling, or power heart in this case, and again I have to say what I said with the dimension puzzling thing and the platformer. I don't know, invest some time, make this a full game with more levels, I would gladly play it. It's fun. It is. And the music is uplifting, I love it. <sighs> well, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the video. As always, I'll put the suggestions in the comment section down below. Until next we meet, this is Toby Burnlock, signing off. Goodbye.